Hello and welcome to Home with Sarah Jane. In today's video, I wanted to share a homeschool haul from Rainbow Resource. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to two girls, ages 11 and 14. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by once again. I do really appreciate you. Okay, friends, I know that I have been sharing a lot of homeschool hauls and, and things like that lately, but it's that time of year, you know, we actually start school in two days. So <laughs> I'm really excited that this haul made it in time because there is one um, curriculum in here that I had purchased that I was kind of like, uh, is it going to make it in time? Um, but I made it work. I made it work. Um, whether it came in or not, I had a plan. So <laughs> there's that. But I didn't order too much from Rainbow from Rainbow Resource this year. For some reason, it was the last place that I um, actually ordered from. And because of that, there really wasn't that much left by the time I placed this order that I needed. I knew that there was a curriculum I wanted to pick up. I knew that there was a biology lab kit that I needed for my oldest daughter. So, you know, little things here and there. But I still did want to share it with you. So let's kind of jump right into it. Um, again, it's just a few little supplies, but one of the first things that I picked up was workable fixative. Now this is something that we use in art. This is something that you could spray on your, on your art or your children's art. Um, like if they're using like pencils, um, or like chalk and it will help it like stick to the page and not smear. So we do pick this up every single year. Um, it's something we started using when we um, started using the Good and the Beautiful because they do have you work with, you know, like chalks or pencils. So this just helps keep our art from smudging and smearing up. Okay, the next thing I picked up is just some washable project paint in classic colors. Now, I used to order really big paint like jugs, but we haven't been going through a lot of paint like this in the last couple of school years. So I just wanted something small. I don't want to waste anything that I purchased because paint does sometimes separate and get kind of like weird. So <laughs> I did just purchase a small one in the classic colors. If we go through this pretty quickly, I'll consider getting like bigger ones again, but I really don't see that. So I got a small one. Now I also picked up some washable um, project paint, but it's glitter paint. This, I kind of had my youngest daughter um, more in mind. This has six different colors, and um, like I was saying, it is glitter, so she will really, really enjoy this. And again, I did want to stick with, like, the smaller containers just in case. Okay, next up, this was actually something that I forgot to take out of my cart, but I'm really glad that I ordered them. I did buy some... Um, friction erasable highlighters. Now, if you watch some of my other haul videos, you know I've already purchased a ton of highlighters, <laughs> um, but I didn't really get any that erased. So, I mean, these are my oldest daughter's favorite. I mean, we'll use them. <laughs> it's fine, we'll use them. Um, and I do like these every now and again. So sometimes I will use these every now and again. I just, I don't usually highlight something that I need to erase, so you know, it's just kind of weird. Um, the next few items are games. We love games. And one of the things that I felt that we needed to work on with my youngest daughter and my oldest daughter, yes, my oldest is going to be in the ninth grade and I'll still have her play this game with us. But this game is called Exact Change. And it's a game of making and counting change. I felt like this was something that we needed to work on. It's not necessarily that my kids are you know, struggling with this, but I do feel it's an area that we can try and perfect a little bit more. And both of my kids, <laughs> both of my kids have bank accounts. So counting money and things like that isn't something that we do all the time. So I just thought that it would be good to refresh, you know, and just get a little bit more practice, you know, just because. And again, we love games. The next thing I picked up is something I want to throw into our morning basket because we're going to be studying U.S. or American history. Um, this is uh, Professor Noggin's card game, History of the United States. We use this more as just like little trivia. We don't necessarily like play it the way it's supposed to be played. We just kind of use it more for trivia. So, but this is something that I'll stick in my morning basket just for, you know, a little bit of fun, maybe on Fridays or something. 
And then I did pick up the Professor Noggins Insects and Spiders. Now, this one I picked up for my youngest daughter primarily because we are going to be studying insects, spiders, arthropods, bugs, you know, all those things. So I picked up this one. And again, we don't really play it the way that it's intended. We just use it more for trivia. You know, we like trivia. So this is just, again, something fun to do um, like on a Friday or something. Okay. Now, the next few things that I picked up are actually books. Um, the first one, I dropped it downstairs and never went back and picked it up. <laughs> I picked up the Swiss Family Robinson. I'll insert a picture. I have plans for this book, and I know I had a copy before, and I can't find it. And I just went through my library, so I must have donated it or, you know, lent it out. But I need it right now, so I did order myself another copy. This is the version that I picked up from Rainbow Resource. And then I also picked up a book called A Cup of Cold Water, The Compassion of Nurse Edith. Is it Cav Cavill? Cavell? I'm not sure how to say her name, but um, this is actually something that's um, on our reading list for my youngest daughter's history. So I picked up this one. I know nothing about this book. It was just on the reading list. So there we go. The next one is Archimedes and the Door of Science. This has actually been on my reading list for a long time, and now... It's actually like a part of her hit my youngest daughter's history. So I'm kind of excited for that because it's kind of forcing me to read it because it has been on my list and I've been wanting to read it for a while, but I never really made time for it. Now we are making time for it because it goes with the curriculum. So I'm excited to read this one. Again, I don't know much about it. Um, it just sounded, you know, interesting. So I picked it up. Okay, this next one I actually already have a copy of, but it is in such terrible condition because it's like a copy from like the 50s um, that I did pick up another one because like the pages were falling out and it was just bad. So I picked up another copy of Lord of the Flies. Now this is on my oldest daughter's reading list for this year. Um, I'm actually really excited for her to be reading this one. It's something that I read when I was in high school and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, there is a movie. I don't really remember it too much, but... I'll probably rewatch it and then see if I want my kids to watch it. So um, there is a movie that we'll watch if I find it okay to watch. But yeah, so Lord of the Flies for my oldest daughter. Okay, I also picked up a 100 count or 100 pack of these sheet protectors. I use these for everything. So I was running a little low. So I did pick up this. This is more for me, you know, just keeping things organized. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up is my ninth grader's health curriculum. Um, she will be taking health for one semester this upcoming school year, and we went with Starline Press. This is one of their elective courses, and again, it's Health 101, and there are five booklets. So there's Health 101, Health 102, Health 103, <laughs> Health 104, and Health 105. So again, this is a semester course that my daughter will be taking. It did come with a health scores key. This is like their little teacher guide or answer key. Um, I just bought the whole set for health. Instead of buying like one little unit um, at a time, I just, you know, purchased it as um, a package. But yeah, so this is let me show you a better picture. This is the health course that I chose for my daughter. And I was kind of worried because we're starting school, like I was saying, in like two days. And this wasn't in yet. And even though we're not using this until second semester, this is this is still something that I wanted to kind of like map out and get a feel for before she did start it. So I'm really glad that it came in. But this is our first time using Starline Press. I hope we like it. I like the fact that it's like little workbooks. So let me just kind of show you a little bit. So you have kind of like what they're going to be covering. And then it's kind of like a little workbook. So all of the information, worksheets, all of that are in here for them already. And then they do have projects um, that are assigned to them for this course as well. So I think it's going to work out great. But again, I haven't used it yet, so we'll see. But I am excited. Now, the last thing that I picked up, remember I told you this was a small haul. The la I can't pick it up, uh, the is last. this large box. <laughs> um, it says that it's from Nature's Workshop Plus. And this is my oldest daughter's lab set for her dive biology course. So this is all of the stuff that she's gonna be needing. 
um, to do the labs for her biology course this year. And we did go with dive biology. It's like an online program. So this is all the stuff that she's going to be needing to um, like complete dissections because dissections are required um, for graduation, at least in our state. So um, we did have to get something for that. Okay, so now let's see what's inside that biology lab kit. I'll go ahead and kind of like unbox that in this video for you if you want to see that because it is something again that I purchased on Rainbow Resource as a full kit. So if you do not want to see this um, because there are going to be specimens in here that she's going to be dissecting, I completely understand and I just want to say thank you for stopping by this video but you would want to click out so that you don't see those. Um, if that's not something that bothers you then stick around because I'll be sharing um, all of the stuff inside of this lab box. But Okay let's, so let's take a look at the specimens. I just wanted to give people the opportunity to click out of the video if they didn't want to see them but for the specimens that we received um, for her to dissect this year there's actually a frog and an earthworm and then there's, I think it's a crayfish is what they're called. I grew up saying crawdad. I don't know if that's even the same creature, but yeah. <laughs> so it's a crayfish, an earthworm, and a frog in here. And then in the kit, she also got a pig, a little fetal pig. So not my favorite thing to show, but, you know, I wanted to kind of show you what was inside the kit. And then she did receive this little like tray that she could dissect on. It has like a little mat inside and there's a dissection um, or dissecting pins and supplies that came with this as well for her to actually uh, complete the dissection of those little specimens I just showed you. Now she also received six of these little glass containers. She got three of these glass like cylinder, there's dog hair everywhere, um, cylinder ones. She received a thing of rubber gloves. I don't know what this is, but it looks like, um, I can't remember what they're called. We've used them before, but I can't remember. But, you know, there's this that came with it. Some safety goggles. It came with a digital pocket scale. A little stopwatch. It came with a 4D human torso model. I swear we're like we have so many of these now. I, I want to say I have like six of these now but yeah so <laughs> she got another one. Um, it came with some plastic cups. There's a whole bunch of these like little solutions. I'm not quite sure exactly what they are but there's like these here. This looks like a dye or something. What is this? iodine so there's some iodine um what is this one i can't read it all i could read is the word blue blue saturated number one i i i'll learn alongside her because i have no clue um this is cellulose and then it came with potassium hydroxide if i'm saying that right okay so then also in this dive kit, it has um, a couple of these like already kind of put together little supply kits. I'm not sure what this one is um, for, but it has like Q-tips and cotton balls. Um, there's like some powder in here, some droppers. Um, it looks like a testing kit back here. Yeah, I'm... I'm not going to pull it apart. There's a lot in there, but <laughs> this bag is just filled with a whole bunch of stuff. And then this one, it says that it's a lung volume kit. So it has everything that I guess she'd be needing for that experiment. And then she received two of these like little glass things. Are these cylinders? Graduated cylinders? Is that right? But there's a larger one and a smaller one. And, and these are glass. Okay. She got a wooden ruler else is in here okay now these I don't know these look like these are glass what, what is this what is this let's open it these are like three little glass things I'm not not sure what they are again science is not my strong suit this is something I'll be learning right beside her <laughs> so I don't know what these are but she got three of them and then she did get there's a thermometer like a long glass thermometer in here and then it did come with the dive biology slide set as well and those came in this little tiny box 
kind of like that it came with its own little case. So there are the slides that she will be using as well. So that's everything that came inside of that dive biology box that I purchased on Rainbow Resource. So that is everything for today. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. Thank you so much for stopping by. You have a great day. Bye.